All right, welcome to Statesman.com and another edition of the High School Blitz. I'm Danny Davis. This is Rick Can too. Rick, let's talk a little bit about week five. Um, we, we give out game balls, talk about something we learned in this video each week. So let's do the what we learned part. What were you educated about this past week? I was educated about Aikens High School again. Uh, every time I've been out to Aikens, it's usually in defeat, but this time it was in victory, big victory over Anderson. Uh, Coach Humberto Garza actually said after the game, we need two more games just to get to the playoffs. And I thought, wow, they're, they're even thinking about the playoffs. So, which is a, a sign that the culture is changing. They're four and one. It's the first time they've won four games since they won five in their early 2000s when they first opened the school. All right, um, I'm going to stick in 14-6A. Um, we've talked a little bit about Bowie and some of the injuries they had when they lost their quarterback and how they've kind of responded to that, you know, that situation. But same thing's kind of happened over at Hayes. Braden Kent went out against Lake Travis a couple weeks ago, a fine Texas State recruit. And when you lose a D1 quarterback, that could spell disaster for your team. But these past two weeks, they've beaten Del Valley, they've beaten Lehman. Um, games have not been close, 48-14 uh, to 14 over Del Valley, 46-9 to 9 over Lehman. Um, Cody Gandy has really stepped up for that team. They're running back a three-year starter for them. He's been an all-district honoree in the past. He's rushed for over 230 yards um, these past two weeks, has had a couple receptions. As I mentioned, the de defensive numbers have been great. Hayes has Anderson, Austin High next couple weeks, and who knows, maybe the Rebels are going to be contending for a playoff spot. I wouldn't be surprised. We're going to talk about game balls right now. One other thing I learned was don't pick against Cedar Ridge. Uh, I was very wrong about that pick last week, and I think that's who your game ball is going to go to. Uh, the quarterback, Garrett Sharp from Cedar Ridge, he is, that's a perfect name for him. He was sharp that night, six total touchdowns, three rushing, three passing, dual threat quarterback. He had a total of 217 yards uh, total rushing and passing. So uh, for somebody that I really wasn't that familiar with heading into the game, when you score 63 points in a football game, I don't care who you are, you do have a good offense and you must have a good quarterback. All right, I'm going to actually deliver my game ball out to Lockhart. Lockhart this past weekend, a very big win over Alamo Heights, 44-36. to 36. Uh, And DJ Ellison, 25 carries, 350 yards, four touchdowns. Um, Lockhart's 5-0 and right now. That was a big statement win for them. Um, their non-district schedule wasn't the toughest in the world, but that Alamo Heights team is a very good team. DJ is now the leading rusher in uh, Central Texas. And after Floresville this week, they have Kerrville Tybee in two weeks, the seventh-ranked team in the state, and that's another opportunity for Lockhart to send a statement. And you know, DJ is going to be touching the ball a lot if that is the case. But um, And he's the only one in the state or this area with 1,000 yards. Yeah, he's very good. And Stephon Houston, another good running back in their backfield. So Coach Sherman has some options out there in Lockhart. All right, those are our game balls. That's what we learned this weekend. Uh, check back with us later this week, and we'll be talking about week six.